wheel manufacturer recommended we switch from brown alumina to white alumina because it is more friable. What does this mean? Within the family of aluminum oxide, you get all types. You get brown, pink, white, ruby, and they all have different values for friability. And that can really affect your grinding. So let's look at what friability means. During grinding, we're going to get forces acting on the grits. Those forces are going to cause the grit to fracture. If the grit is tough, we can really beat on it, and it doesn't break. If it's friable, we hit on it, and it's far more likely to break or far more likely to fracture. So, if we have a material that's very difficult to grind, and it's causing our wheel to become dull, then we want a friable abrasive. We want that grit, once it becomes dull, to break off and expose a sharp cutting edge. On the other hand, let's say the material is not that difficult to grind, or let's say we have really high material removal rates. So we're removing a lot of material in a very short time, then we're getting very big forces acting on those grits. If we have big forces acting on the grits, well, we don't want them to fracture too easily, because then we're just going to wear our wheel away. So in that case, we want our grit to be a little tougher. So you can really work wonders in terms of choosing whether you want a tough abrasive or a friable abrasive. So what you often hear wheel salesmen say is, oh, let's switch to a more free cutting wheel. One way a wheel can be free cutting is that it has a more friable abrasive, so it's constantly self-sharpening, generating sharp cutting edges.